yeah, it's been going really well. Um, the garbage down the other end is popping away, he's having a good time as well, so I don't know what the beer and bag will be. But it'll be just over 300, I expect. Yeah, it's going really well. Well, here we go again, Mush. Yeah, my favourite field. Yeah. So. I love this when you've got the rake in this, this part of the farm. It's worked quite well because the pigeons turn up here roughly the same time every year. So they usually hammer, or have been, they've been hammering the standing wheat and I don't like uh, dropping them and not being able to pick them up. So we managed to cut wheat 10 days ago and uh, they've moved off the standing wheat onto the rake. But they've almost cleared the, the rape up, so now they're starting to move back onto the standing wheat again. Yeah, I say they're dropping out there now. So they, they come through halfway up the, the between the two fields. They come halfway through. And they peel back that way. So we're going to put one gun that end. And so the plan is, I'll be there shooting, and it'll push it. And the pigeons, when they go out, they tend to come through here. They come out through here, and then back out round. So. I, I think we're going to have a good day. There's been, well, there's been a lot on that week. I think we'll have a good day, Stuck. I really do. Just put a few of these up out here on sticks, just so that they've got something to come to. I'll keep the rotary up the right hand side, the way the wind is there. They'll pull through there nicely, hopefully. So they'll get these set up. Bax has just gone back down to see Emily. He'll be back in a minute. Um, but yeah, hopefully they decoy. If they decoy, I think, I think we'll kill a few here today. That's the plan anyway. So the rotaries I use are the ultra lightweight from UK Shoot Warehouse. Well, this is one of the very first ones that UK Shoot Warehouse made. Right, that's them done. Get a pile of this straw, cover the battery up. So that when Bax turns up, we're good to go. That's better. Several laying about, but they're 
most of them around here, I'm having to wait. They're coming over them oak trees and I'm waiting until they go past and then I'm shooting and dropping drop out in that grass field. Oh, I like Yeah, I've had, I've had one, two drop under the oak tree as I've shot. That's where they've dropped and one towered out 100 yards away from me. And then the rest, the, the rest, well, I didn't even hear it. Didn't even hear it. Oh, well done. Here comes one along the shore, along the wood. Hang on. See, that's done the same. That's gone below me. And yeah. then they're doing what you said. They come through that middle and turn up towards you. Is that yeah. another shot? Yeah. Of course, I can't hear your shots. Can you? No. I only have one shot. <laughs> Your average is going to be good, Mush. I can't hear you. <laughs> uh, we get 100 for me. Easy. Yeah. Yeah, easily. I've got 97 to go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. There's two or three flight lines. There's one through the middle of the farm, and then there's one that comes over right up the other end, follows the stream down, which is where the other side of the field to where Andy is, and then they turn and come this way, especially the way the wind is. The wind's perfect for us today. But it, if you didn't have someone up there, they would all just drop in there. As you say, we can hardly hear their shots, can we? So us shooting here, well, it might have kept them off, but I think they would have got used to it and just settled in there. So I wanted someone up there, and ideally two people this end. And it would, you know, would, would shoot a lot more. It's still going to be good. Tidy up. As you can see, the pattern's pretty well spread out. Some long stuff that I've been shooting. There's pigeons just about everywhere. Here, here, good girl. So just have a tidy up, get a few of these picked up, and uh, hopefully they'll start pulling in a bit better, make the job a bit easier. Looking back at the pattern, you can see this sample on their backs out there which isn't good. I don't like that too much. Come on in. Here. Where are you? Uh, yeah, well, we've been shooting an hour and a half now, and we're up to 104. So, uh, it's going quite well. I better do a bit of running, I suppose. Here. What was that? Good girl. Whew.
same old uh, Blaser F16. I brought the spare one today, um, so I was expecting, expecting it to get a bit lively. We had a, about half an hour there, it was a bit hectic, so I just used this one, the old barrel got a bit hot, so I just changed over. And I, I just didn't bring any gloves, so I didn't want to burn my bloody hand. So, yeah, it's been going really well. Um, the garage down the other end is popping away, he's having a good time as well, so I don't know what the, the end bag will be. But it'll be just over 300, I expect. Yeah, it's going really well. Yeah, it should do. Well, another good day. Thanks for coming, Baxi. Um, you had the drone up, shooting pigeons around the drone. That was quite nice. It's something I've always wanted to do. Shoot something close to the drone. And, yeah, ended up with a North bag. Um, had a few, few silly misses. But they, some decoyed, or shot on us, flighty stuff as well. But yeah, it's all in all, great day. I, mean, I can't wait to see the film when it goes out. I think it's going to be a good one. <laughs>